The Anderson Salamander, critically endangered, derpy looking. It was first discovered by two people named Krebs and Brandon in 1984. To the common people, it is known as Anderson Salamander, named after the man who began research on it, James Anderson. However, scientists referred to it by its scientific name, Ambistoma andersoni. Some relatives of this salamander in its genus include the spotted salamander, Ambistona maculatum, a common salamander in pet trade which is relatively common and inexpensive. These are tiger salamanders, Ambistoma tigrinum. The axolotl salamander is a close relative of the tiger at Anderson's and has been popularized as exotic aquarium pets and like Anderson's salamander, is critically endangered. Anderson salamanders have a dark purple color with maroon colored gills. Without looking closely, one can tell that these salamanders look very similar to the axolotl salamander, also from Mexico. These two salamanders share many physical features and both have the rare feature of neoteny. This means that they retain their traits from when they were young. While most salamanders are found in the tropical rainforest, these salamanders are only found at the temperate Lake Zacapu region in the Mexican state of Michoacan. It is a small lake near Zacapu, a town sitting at an altitude of 2,000 meters, and the salamanders are distributed along the surrounding streams near Zacapu and the lake. It has an area of 21,661.59 meters squared and a maximum length of 634 meters and a maximum width of 414 meters. In 2013, it was declared a protected area, and June 5, 2005, 40 hectares were also declared as a Ramsar site in Mexico. This natural area is included in the Ramsar list of wetlands of international importance. This is Juan. Juan Anderson is an Anderson salamander. More importantly, Juan is one of the few remaining Anderson salamanders that lives in the Lake Zacapu of Mexico. Juan the Anderson salamander has a dark skin color, allowing him not to be seen in Lake Zacapu. The Anderson salamander's skin allows it to swim quickly underwater from its predators. As you can see, the salamanders have gills. Most salamanders have their gills absorbed after metamorphosis. However, Juan's gills become darker red and also more efficiently take in oxygen than normal internal lungs. They do not undergo metamorphosis, though scientists have tried doing so with certain hormones. Juan's friends did not survive. In addition, when the Anderson salamander is born, its mother leaves it at a very young age. This allows the young salamanders to learn by themselves and build fundamental skills at an early age. So pretty much Juan was abandoned by his mom. Salamanders are poikilothermic and ectothermic, meaning that they do not make any attempt to regulate their internal temperature, and their temperature is based on their environment. For example, if Juan was put in Antarctica, he'd be dead because he wouldn't bother to heat himself and would freeze. However, if he was put in an incinerator, he'd be burning hot and wouldn't bother cooling down. Juan and friends are carnivores, therefore consumers. They are known to eat snails and crawfish, and quickly swim up to their food near in the water where they live. And an aquatic salamander such as Juan lacks muscles in the tongue, and captures his prey in a different way than his land counterparts. He grabs his prey with his arms, grasps it with his teeth, and utilizes inertia to eat his prey. 
This involves shaking his head around, allowing water in and out of his mouth, and snapping his jaws. Eventually, Juan chews it enough so that it is soft and then swallows his meal. Therefore, Juan helps control the populations of snails and crawfish in the lake area where they live, for free. This keeps those populations in check. Should Juan and his friends not exist, then the snail and crawfish population could increase, because there are not many other species who eat them. Unfortunately, these salamanders' courtship behaviors are still unknown. However, the Anderson salamanders lay eggs in the lake, like other salamanders that become terrestrial during adulthood, except they do not need to migrate back to the lake. Juan fertilizes internally by dropping a spermatophore on the bottom of the lake, and his mate picks it up in her vent. Anderson salamanders are sexually mature when they are still larval salamanders, and that's why Juan's parents don't need to stay with him. Their habitat has been altered because of pollution and predatory fish in the area. Humans have over-harvested, traded, and collected the salamanders. They are often hunted by humans in the area for food or to keep as pets, to breed with the axolotl salamanders because everyone wants one. The salamanders are not in a protected area, but the population could recover if their ecosystem was restored and if Lake Sakapu could be kept clean. The species is in the PR category, meaning that the Mexican government has issued special protection for it, though it seems not much has been done. We predict the species to go extinct in the wild, but not in captivity. There is currently an ex situ colony, or breeding population, that is being used to maintain the species. Eventually, because its wild population trend is negative, further actions must be made to save this creature. If this salamander were to go extinct, there will be a fluctuation in the amount of crawfish and snails will increase, since this is Juan's food. Alright, so Juan's life in a nutshell starts when he is born and abandoned by both of his parents. Then he grows alone in solitude feeding on snails and crawfish as well as retaining physical features from childhood due to his neoteny. After a while, he meets the salamander of his dreams and releases a spermatophore that his girlfriend picks up into her vent. There, the egg is fertilized and dropped somewhere in the lake, and Juan, along with his mate, ditch the scene. In the end, he is either captured by a human to be eaten, kept as a pet, or sold, eaten by a larger fish, died from pollution, or survives and dies from old age. What?